The trophies for this game were some of the hardest I've ever went for. Oh, come on, bro. Starting off with this first one. I have to just beat one level without dying. I'm gonna die on this jump. No! Oh! No! Man, this is gonna be so hard. This game is going to be so hard, bro. I'm telling you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is the furthest I've made it without dying. Oh, oh I almost fell, I almost fell, I almost fell, I almost fell. Oh, make the jump, make the jump. Oh, I thought I was gonna die to that saw blade. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see why they say this is harder than Super Meat Boy. Bro, I died there again! That same spot, I need to practice that jump. So I practiced the jump for a while and I made it back here again, okay? Two, let's go. I passed the jump. I think we're towards the end of the level. Okay, we gotta get past this part. Take your time, take your time. Yes! Is this it? No, 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 there's still more, there's still more. Yes, that's the end of the level. Whoo! Yes, Mark of the Ninja. Now that was only the first level I had to complete without dying. I actually have to do the entire game straight without dying later on. It's just crazy. After that, I went on to get trophies for killing enemies with buzz saws, killing enemies with bouncing, and killing enemies with water. And I did this all while playing through the game and trying to unlock different abilities. If I complete this level, I get the trophy for unlocking the final ability. Okay, we gotta get past this. We are on the clock. I'm so dead, I'm so dead, I'm so... <gasps> oh! How did I, how did I survive that? That was so close. We gotta go, we gotta go. Move, move. Oh, I just barely jumped over that. We, we hit a checkpoint, let's go. Oh yeah, I died. We gotta go. Another checkpoint. There it is. There it is. Here it is. Yes, sir. Bounce, baby. Bounce. Get bouncing. Now I can shoot the, uh, was it triangle? Yeah, now I can shoot the stuff that makes you bounce. Now I had to get through the last level of the game, but this was ridiculously hard. But if I can do this, I get the trophy for completing the game. Look at this. Because this is insanely hard. How am I missing that jump? I don't know how to beat this man. I'm I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is insane. Come on! I'm a, I, I wanna quit so badly. I wanna quit so badly. I wanna quit so badly. Rage AR has entered the chat. And yeah, I died a lot on this level. The crazy part is when you save or kill a splasher, at the top left, it shows you how many you have throughout the level. The X's are the ones who died, the filled ones are the ones you got, and the empty ones are the ones you haven't come across yet. For a trophy later on, I actually have to save all the splashers in every level. And I couldn't get past this level just going through it normally. I didn't understand how was that even possible. Somehow I'd have to pull it off, but for now, my main goal was just get through this level and beat the game. I haven't felt this level of hopelessness since Super Meat Boy, but that was all about to change. Come on. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, oh, oh. Blow it up, blow it up. Go, 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 go. Checkpoint. Yes. Yes, finally. Oh, we made it to the end. We couldn't save every one of the splashers, but that's okay. Wait, wait, is he? Oh, no. Just when I thought it was over, man. Okay, I think it's over now. Farewell, yeah, bye. Oh, do we have to get him in the cage? Hey, I think we have to get this dude in the cage. This is, this is, this right here is the bad guy, the villain. Yup, got him. <laughs> and that's it. And we get the trophy striker. Complete the game in standard mode. We're not done at all. Let's work on some miscellaneous trophies. Here I had to juggle an enemy with the bounce ink. Okay, it's not going off to the side. Wait, now it is, now it is. There it is, we got it, juggler, let's go. And in this one, I had to get two splashers to come together. If I can get this dude right here to reach the guy on the top corner. Ugh. Go, 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 go. Get up there, get up there. No, he was, he was gonna land there. Oh, I almost collected him by accident. If I touch him, I collect him, bro. No, 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 don't, 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 don't touch him. Go, 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 go. Up, 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 up. Stay up there. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, now just shoot him. Yes, 
We got it, Tinder. Here I had to complete a level without jumping at all. So you might say, bro, you're jumping right now. I'm actually not jumping. Shooting the, the bounce ink, which is the yellow ink, it doesn't count as jumping. So as long as I don't press the X button throughout this entire level, I can get this done. So let's uh try to do this. Hopefully it's not too hard. Okay. See, that's my first time dying. All right, here we go. I think we go like this, right? Shoot this. Bounce off. Shoot this. Yep. And bounce off yep perfect oh i'm gonna see now i'm now i have to restart the level you can't spray the ink on the middle surface i gotta restart now okay i gotta be very careful right here okay oh i fell back here again man okay Whew. we made it past that part hopefully uh that's the hardest part of the level hopefully Let's go. That's the end of the level. Thank you. Give me my trophy. Yellow men can't jump. Why is that the name of the trophy? I don't know. It was at this point that I had to start going for the insanely hard trophies. Remember earlier when I said I had to save all the splashers in every level? Well, I went through every level doing that and then I made it to the last one. I previously stated I didn't know how I was gonna beat this while also saving everyone because it was just too hard of a level. But now it's time to figure it out. But like, it's crazy hard to collect these because you have to run away from the goo that's rising while also collecting these dudes. Let's see if I can do this right here. Oh, we got him, we got him. No, almost died. Fast. We gotta, we gotta be. Bro, like you see what I mean? Like I was struggling on this mission um, or on this level in my first playthrough when I didn't have to collect these guys and now I'm actually trying to do it and it's actually insane. This is the part where I used to die on so much. Come on. Come on. I'm dead. I'm dead! Oh my gosh, we're close to the end. I don't remember how to do that part. That's why. There, there, there we go. There we go. Just like that. Just like that. That's exactly what I needed to do. Yep, I figured it out. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Pop that. Let's go. Let's go. We hit the checkpoint. I think we're going to get the trophy now. Fill up this thing with uh, all the gold I collected, and the trophy should be ours. Whew. Yes, we got it. We got him. Oh, not the trophy yet. We got the last dude, though. Finally, there it is. Freedom Fighter. <laughs> Took so long to pop. And that was just for collecting all the splashers. Later on, I actually have to collect all the splashers while also speed running. I don't know how it's going to be done. Okay, so things are only going to get harder from here on out because I have to do speed runs and a no death run if I want the platinum. This is where the true difficulty of this game lies. Okay, so here we are. We're speed running this um i need to complete this i don't even know what the time requirement is for this level i wasn't really paying attention no matter what score i get here though i should get a trophy for just getting any sort of any color medal and this is the end of the level our time 152.89 and we get the new challenger trophy we need to get 147 if we want to get the gold one and that will give us the promising challenger trophy as long as i don't fall on these jumps i should get this done come on don't sell don't sell here we go here we go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 144.05. And we get Promising Challenger. Oh, hey, and now I have to do the speed run for the third time because I need a platinum medal. So I need to be even faster somehow. The time I need for the platinum medal is, um, I think it's 137. 137.70, I believe. When you jump, you're just faster. So we're going to jump around the entire map. I don't know why I didn't do that the first time around, but we're doing it now. 116.30. Okay, so I have what? 30 or 20 seconds to beat this go 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 if i want the platinum medal go 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 10 seconds seven seconds no oh. no no i was short by one second one second Oh my gosh. Okay, I can optimize this. I know I can. Yup, yup. That's the strat. That's the strat. That's the strat. Come on, come on. We can't mess up here again. Oh my gosh, I just messed up. Wait. Just don't rush. Take your time. The reason why I failed last time was because I was rushing. Come on. Four. We got it! <laughs> Serious challenger! Look! We got 137.18 for the platinum medal. We needed 137.70. Oh, 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 that 
that was so close. This is the first level of 22 that I need to speedrun. This came down to the wire. I can't imagine what the other ones are going to be like. Little did I know the next level, which is only level 2 of 22, would probably be the hardest level I've ever tried to speedrun out of any game I've ever played. The time I need to get is 129.02. I was playing this for maybe an hour and then I decided to stream it because I felt that it was so hard that I couldn't demonstrate it properly through a video that has cuts. And I replayed the same level for four and a half hours straight during that stream. My wrist was in excruciating pain, I had a headache, and my thumb was hurting from spamming X so much. But I decided I wasn't gonna stop until it was done. Now here's why this is so hard. I would get so close to beating it so many times. With times like this, 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 and this. Just look at my facial expressions associated with each time. Now there was one minor flaw in my run that was stopping me from getting this done. I watched a video on how to speed run this. There's this one jump that you can entirely clear where you don't lose momentum at all. On every time I recorded, I could not clear this jump for the life of me. Out of the several hundred times I tried playing this on stream, I probably cleared it successfully three times. And if I can just clear that jump, I have a really good shot of doing this. On this occasion, this was my best run yet and I have a really good chance of completing this. That's got it. You got to be from another country. Because here we're here with their roommates. Go, 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 go! <laughs> There's no way I'm that close! There's no way! See? No! There's no way I'd be I come that close! Surely you have to get it soon, right? Well, five minutes later, this happened. Everyone quiet, everyone quiet right now. I don't want to hear a word from no man in the stream. Level two out of 22 complete. Now the misfortune you're about to see, I guarantee you probably have never seen it in a video before. I'm speed running this level and have to beat it in 136.86. Just look what happens. What did I need? No shot. This is insane. I can't make this up. I failed a speed run by 0 0.01 second. Whoa, that's insane. 0 0.01. Yeah, you think that's tragic, right? But it's not as bad as level 15 was. Guys, I just want you to know, I know I say this a lot in the vids, but like no joke this time, I legitimately think this is the hardest thing I've ever tried to do in my life. Like I'm on currently level 15. Um, I was playing this level last night for several hours and um, still no luck trying to beat the time trial. It's insane, but I'm not gonna quit. I, I That's a promise, like I don't quit for nothing so I just can't quit. I have to force myself, but my wrist hurts. My thumb hurts. Like it's insane, but you're going to see this in the video and you're going to know how I felt in this moment. And then you're going to see me when I prosper. And I want you to know that when I do anything is possible. And that mindset got me a run that was 0.6 seconds off from what I needed. At this point, I really felt like I could do it. After I hit that jump, I knew I had a really good chance of getting this done. I just have to execute the rest of the level properly to do it. I've done it! Oh! Level 15 is done! That was literally one of the hardest things I've ever done. We still got six more speed runs to go. But I told you, the power of not quitting is being shown to you right here. But we're still not done. We don't have the platinum. It's too soon to speak. I think I'm about to do it here. I think I'm about to do it. I think I'm about to. I got 12 seconds to make it to the end. And this is the last platinum medal I need. Go, go, go. Oh, we did it. Oh, we got the last platinum medal for all the individual. Oh, oh, 
all 22 levels are done. We got to do the three full game speed runs at this point. The first full game speed run needs to be done in 43 minutes and 44 seconds. My first attempt, I got like a 51 minute run. My second attempt, I actually did worse somehow. The next one after that was going better. Not good enough to get the time. But if I can get under 50 minutes, I can still get a trophy. But then I started messing up a lot on the last level and it caused me to rage a lot. Oh, come on, bro. Luckily, still got it done under 50 minutes though. But if I want to get the platinum medal for this speed run and a trophy, I still need to beat it in 43 minutes and 44 seconds. So somehow I need to shave off six minutes. Well, I went for another run and got it done in 46 minutes. So we shaved off a few, but we still need to shave off three more. And I kept practicing these levels to try to get the hang of them even more. Then I started to feel really comfortable with the run. So I went for another one and made it to the last level. I have a chance here. If I can get this done in time, I get a trophy. The time to beat is in the bottom right and my heart rate and the timer are above my head. Uh, I can't I can't I can't I failed I failed six seconds off or what five <laughs> Level 16 it literally cost me if I had just executed that level properly, that's it. It would have been it this is maybe close to my 10th attempt at this speed run. And every time I have to start from level one again, 40 to 50 minutes down the drain. Well, I called it a night and I tried again the next day. This run was showing some promise, but then I died on level five. Tragic. I decided I would go through with it though, and then made it to level 16, which cost me my last run. And I died here and then died again, but I was still pushing through. Level 18, I missed an easy jump that never gets me. And then level 19, I fell off this contraption, whatever this is. And on level 21, I did an early jump. All these silly mistakes. This is the last level. I'm eight seconds ahead of my personal best. I need to complete this perfectly. So here we are. If we're gonna get this done now, it's gonna be by literal seconds. Remember, I need 43 minutes and 44 seconds and my timer's in the top left. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we have 20 seconds, 20, 15 seconds. We have literally 14 seconds to make it to the end, 14 seconds. Go! No, sh no. true speedrunner! I did it! by seven seconds oh. that might have been the single hardest task i've ever tried to accomplish now on to the second full game speed run i need to do it while collecting 80 of the splashers here was my first attempt we should be getting a trophy here um for i think something with gold medals you have to complete this speed run in under 60 minutes and i'm at 57 so we need to cut this time down to 50 minutes in order to get like that other trophy but uh 50 or 58 minutes is my current best we get old school runner my next attempt at this speed run gave me a 55 minute time and then a 52 minute time we just need to cut off two minutes and then this happened we have six seconds to make it to the end six seconds we failed we failed we failed it by two seconds we failed it by two seconds. We failed by two seconds. Today's the next morning after that. I did two more runs last night where I made it to the end and ended up losing. This game has legitimately broken me. I don't want to go through with the process, but nevertheless, 
take me through the fire. So I did two more 50 minute runs just to fail on the last level. And every time I failed, it's back to level one for another 50 minute run. <sighs> I fail every single time I get to the end. Every single time I get to the end, I always fail. I always fail. This is like the 10th time this has happened to me, man. I don't even know what to do anymore at this point, man. I, I don't know. Why can't I beat it? I, I just can't. Nevertheless, I tried again. This time I made it to level 21 and I was a minute and 20 seconds ahead of my personal best. And this is the end of the level. If I can just make it through here without dying, I'm setting myself up really good for the last level. But then I died and then died again. I'm selling, I'm selling, I'm selling, I'm selling, I'm selling. And then I managed to make it through 45 seconds ahead of my personal best. And so here's the end of the last level. Can I pull this off finally? I can! I will! I must! It's gonna rain sometimes! I will! You're gonna feel discouraged sometimes! I will! No matter what the obstacle, I will! I will! I will! I must! Despite the circumstance, you can win. Despite the adversity, you can win. I'm trying to tell you, you can win. I'm trying to tell you, I don't care how big the giant is, you can win. I want you to go in confidence that you've never had before. And every giant in your life, slay him. You go back and slay him. Don't kill him, slay him. Oh my gosh. Finally, oh, we finally did it. I know my reaction looks the same as if I had just lost, but that's because I went through this so many times. One more speed run left and one no death run and that's it. And now for the hardest trophy I've ever went for in my entire life. This title previously went to a trophy in Super Meat Boy, but this new one takes the cake. You have to beat the entire game without dying. A very simple concept, but very hard to actually do. There are 22 levels in Splasher and the ones at the end get ridiculously hard. And it's not like Super Meat Boy where you can choose which levels you want to do first to get them out the way. That doesn't work here. My first attempt at this no death run came on stream and I actually made it to level 18. So I was feeling really hopeful. Yeah, that was a tough loss, but it wasn't as bad as what was about to come next. Over the next few days, I kept trying to do this no death run and I kept making it to the end and dying. Completing the game takes about 45 minutes if you're fast. So if you get to one of the end levels and die, that's 45 minutes down the drain just to start back on level one. And every time I lost one of these runs towards the end, it just added more pressure to the next one. Like for example, here I made it to level 22 and then died. And in the next coming days, I die on level 21, I die on level 20, I die on level 19, you name it. And then on another good run where I made it to level 20, this happened. <sighs> no matter how hard I try, I, I've never been able to do it. I've tried for the past three, four days and I always make it to the end and die. I've watched motivational videos after motivational videos. They pump me up for the run, but then when I get there and die, it's the most heartbreaking feeling ever. Today is the fifth day of me trying to beat this no death run. I've never felt such negative emotions playing any video game ever, and this has legitimately broken me. So far, I've died on level 22 once. I've died on level 21 maybe five times or so. And the amount of times I've died on level 16, anywhere from level 16 to level 20, it's probably within like 10 and 20 range. Those failures, constant failures have made me feel emotions that I don't want anyone to experience. So if you're thinking about getting the platinum for this game, just don't. And my determination to actually get this done, because I've been at this for uh, just over two weeks now, my determination to get this done has actually been my downfall. I've, I've made a decision like years ago that I wouldn't quit for anything. It doesn't even have to be like a video game. I, I just don't quit on things, right? A good way to live life is just to never quit. Like a good habit to have is just persistence. But in this case, persistence has not paid out for me. It has not. That doesn't mean it's not going to, but currently it has not. The only thing persistence has done for me here is made me feel very, very, very sad and upset. You might think I'm being dramatic, but this is actually holding back me being able to post a video because I decided this would be my next video. 
and I have to get it done. I'm so close. I have to get it done. I'm hoping today's the day. I'm, I really am. I really am. But my nerves get to me every time I get to like one of those last levels. My nerves just take over and I can't execute the levels properly. But we'll see what happens. Well, here I am on the last level. All I need to do is get through this without dying. If I can, the trophy that has taken me five days up until this point to get would be mine. The most painful trophy I've ever went for will be mine if I can do this right here. I did it! I did it! I did it! I did- I just did it! I just did it and I almost died! My heart is racing so fast right now! I actually just did it! There's no way! There's no way! Ninja Runner is done! Huh? Look at my hand! <sighs> the last thing for me to do for the Platinum is the Gotta Catch Em All speedrun, but there's still some more trophies we need to get. If I can complete the speedrun in 85 minutes, I'll get multiple trophies. This is how my first attempt went. Let's see. Silver Runner, yeah, we did get the Silver one, yep. So I guess it was 120. We got Bronze Runner, and then we should get the Gold Trophy for completing the speedrun. Yep, there it is. Now, all that was left was to get the gold time, which is 85 minutes, and then also the platinum time, which is 73 minutes. But my time was 118, so I needed to cut down a lot. To cut down some time, I actually looked at a world record speedrun and saw the strategies that he used so I can kind of do them for myself. And then the next day, this happened. Let's see that trophy pop. Let's see it. Golden Runner, let's go! Even after that trophy, I still needed to cut down seven minutes off the speed run if I was gonna get the platinum. To do that, I just need to optimize the run by dying a lot less. So I did another attempt where I got a personal best of 75 minutes. Just two more minutes to shave off and the platinum trophy is mine. Now the thing about this speed run is you have to collect all the splashers while also completing it in time to get this done. So if you just miss one of them, that's it. There are a couple that are really easy to miss like this one on level 21 because you have to time it perfectly and catch him out the air. After a few failed attempts, I found myself on the last level with only a few minutes to spare. It's possible that I can get this done here, but I have to be perfect. No, I killed the dude! I killed him! Oh, that, that, that's, yep, that, if I had any chance, it, it just went through the window right there. How did he just die? I looked back at the footage and this one stray shot was enough to knock him down. Man, that's tough. Me killing that guy at the end cost me, literally. I, I failed on the last level, but to be honest, I ran into a glitch earlier in this run as well. That actually cost me like a minute. If that glitch didn't happen, even after killing the guy, I would have got it done. And I forgot to collect the last dude anyways. If I came 10 seconds short, surely I can do this in the next try. I know exactly where I messed up. I know exactly what I have to do. And then came level 21. We're on really, really good pace here. If I can save this dude first try, it's basically a GG. And we saved that guy first try. I think this is a wrap. And finally, level 22. I have a lot of time to spare here. Even if I mess up, I'm most likely going to do it. But let's just see it. We have to make sure we save every guy. If I don't save every dude and I accidentally forget one, I'm going to have to restart. Last time I lost because of this, because I, I killed this guy by accident. Not this time. Got him. There's a guy over here. Save him. Let's go. I died. It's okay. We have plenty of time. We have enough gold to save the last guy. Save this guy. Don't forget about him. The platinum is about to be mine. As long as I don't forget to collect the last guy. Don't forget to collect the last guy or else you have to restart this entire level. Nope, nope. Don't forget him. Don't forget him. Don't forget him. I'm going to keep saying it. Don't forget him. Don't forget him. Don't forget him. Don't forget him. I've, it's happened to me before. Don't forget him. Nope, nope, nope. You got two minutes right here to spare. Take every last second if you need to collect this dude. It's over. Guys. 
It's finally over. I'm gonna get the... I don't ever have to play this game for the rest of my life. Give me... Let me see it. Let me see it. I am a legend. And then... Splash your platinum trophy. The hardest trophy or the hardest platinum trophy I've ever gotten in my life. I will not go for another game of this extent. I can't do it. I'm sorry. That was insane. Sorry for the long wait. This game was super hard to complete. It's my hardest platinum ever. My second hardest platinum is Super Meat Boy. If you haven't seen that video, you can press here on the screen to watch.